Hey guys, Alex here from MotagonalClass.com coming to you with the unboxing of the highly anticipated, everybody wants to have one, in the Philippines at least, because it's been out in uh, some parts of Asia, India, and China uh, for a while now. This is the Redmi Note 7 and it's no longer the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 because it is now a sub-brand. This is the Redmi Note 7, just the Redmi Note 7, as you can see in the box here. And it even says global version because this is not the China ROM version. This is an official product for the Philippine market, the Redmi Note 7. And this guy starts at 7,890 pesos or about 150 US dollars if you need the conversion factor. The thing to note here is this is a sub 10,000 peso phone for the 3 gig 32 variant with a Snapdragon 660 full HD display and a whopping 48 megapixel camera for only 8,000 pesos. Or in this variant, this is the 4 gig 64. This would be the 9990 peso variant, which is about 200 us dollars anyway this is a highly sought after phone everybody wants one everybody is talking about the 48 megapixels and the incredible under 10,000 peso price point for the mid-range specs i'm alex from attackoclass.com we're gonna unbox it right now we'll see you guys after this So on top we have a box that holds, looks like a jelly case. We have a Redmi Note 7 user guide. So that's nice in black and white or gray and white. This is a warranty card, which is not actually a warranty card. You know, that's been pretty common for mo Oh my God, that looks good. Hang on, whoa. <laughs> so here we have a, a jelly case, which is really nice. Oh, it's pretty nice and transparent as well i like that boom that's a nice case all right so that's it for the case oh my god look at that color look at that oh my god that's beautiful we have a qualcomm snapdragon 660 which is actually quite an excellent device or i mean a processor that is what 150,000 on antutu we'll see that soon enough Oh, the case is a little bit soft. There we go. Okay, it's a little less prettier without the with the case on. So let's take off this little sticker back here. Oh yes. Okay, we'll put that over there, and then we'll take off this sticker right here. Uh, come on, sticker bro. Come on. And action. So this is protected by Gorilla Glass five if i'm not mistaken and also gorilla glass in the back so this is a nice gorilla glass front and back device um, and then we have a fingerprint scanner on the back plus this feels very solid and metallic on the sides but keep in mind this is not metal on the sides this is polycarbonate i mean it's not cold to the touch but it's definitely you know up there when it comes to feeling nice in the hand it actually you know kind of looks and feels really nice back there usb type c cable in white color and a charger here this has five volts two amps so pretty standard fast charger here nothing fancy extremely fast now keep in mind this device the redmi note 7 has compatibility with quick charge 4.0 from qualcomm it is usb type c it does have headphone jack on top it does also have an ir blaster on top so wow lots of features in this guy um but the thing here is i do have to lament the fact that there is no headphone and the charger on the box does not is not a quick charge 3 or a quick charge 4 charger i guess they have to save money somewhere you know all right guys so let's take a look at the uh, build quality and design of the redmi note 7 just real quick here as you can see we have the front right here which is a i believe 6.3 inch full hd plus display with the dot drop notch but let's take a look at the back here before we start on the front now this is the shiny 
I believe blue color. <laughs> I don't know what it's exactly called. Neptune blue, I think. And this is a nice looking bag for 8,000 pesos. So as you can see, we have a blue gradient going down to sort of purple-ish color. And it's a really nice color because it's also shiny in the bag and it's really premium looking. We have a fingerprint scanner on the back and it actually is pretty fast. As you can see right here, Redmi has one of the, Xiaomi has really fast fingerprint sensor. So I do have to give them that. It is slightly smaller. I don't know. My finger just doesn't, or maybe the lip is just not big enough. That's not easy to find when you're sliding your finger around, but it will unlock regardless. So that's nice. We have the uh, 48 megapixel camera right here on the back with the five megapixel camera over there. There is a slight bump and it is actually significant, probably about one millimeter or 1.5 millimeter bump. On the bottom, we have Redmi by Xiaomi logo right there. So this is a Redmi sub-brand now. It's no longer made by Xiaomi. Curved plastic on the sides. We have the power button, the volume rocker, and then we have speakers on the bottom, which is actually kind of loud. USB Type-C, like I said, very nice. On the left side, we have the SIM tray, which is a hybrid SIM tray. One SIM is nano SIM, and the second SIM slot can be uh, hybridized or uh, converted to a micro SD slot for expanding your storage. Now on top, we have a noise cancellation microphone, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, very, very nice. and. A really nice feature here is the IR blaster, which is actually very rare these days in even mid-range and high-end devices. All right, so let's take a look at the front of the phone. And this is a full HD plus display. This is 2340 by 1080 IPS display. And did you notice that? Oh gosh, look at this. There is an ad again on the thing. Yep, so that's the thing about uh, Redmi phones, or actually budget Xiaomi phones. I don't even know if it affects the high-end phones as well, but the thing is with these phones, it, they do have ads, and uh, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I didn't want to talk about that earlier, but, well, I mean, earlier in this video, but it do has ads, and I don't know if <clears throat> all of them can be disabled. Um, and then at least the swipe up motion is replaced by uh, the Google launcher or the Google search, not the, um, that the Mi browser, which is kind of annoying when it comes to the Mi 8 Lite. When you swipe up, it does open the Google, uh, the Mi 8, the Mi browser, which is really annoying. Sorry. I All right, let's get back to talking about the display right here. So 6.3 inch, 2340 by 1080 IPS display, a very, very nice display. I have no complaints about the displays on Xiaomi devices. They're really, really sharp and vibrant. This is IPS with the dot drop notch and Gorilla Glass 5. We have on top here, we have the speaker for your earpiece and then there should be a proximity and light sensitivity sensor over there right next to it. And then there's a little bit of a lip. I don't know how big that is. That is maybe half a centimeter of a lip, which is fine. The most phones have this and it's it's okay, it's, it's actually nice that you can put your finger down there and not touch the screen. There's also the dot drop notch. I don't know why they call it the dot drop notch, but it's actually sort of a do drop notch. Uh, and it holds the 13 megapixel front camera back there, which is actually not bad looking. Uh, and I, I like the look, I like the size. So Antutu score, which we showed you earlier already, is about 141,000. Uh, based on some benchmark, it can, benchmarks, it can get up to 150,000. We do have an update coming up, which we haven't uh, done yet because this is just the unboxing. So there is an update that says improved uh, system, optimized system performance, improved system security and stability, which we'll, we'll do after this unboxing. And uh, it's pretty impressive how, what you can get for 8,000 these days. So I'm really impressed with what Xiaomi has to offer, in, including or specifically because of this back design that is really, really nice. Even though the sides are polycarbonate, it's super duper, super duper solid in the hand. And even though it doesn't feel cold to the touch because it's not metal, it's still really premium in the hand. And like I said, probably the best looking and feeling device for 8,000 pesos with all of the specs also into consideration. 
All right, so let's take a look, a quick look at the user interface of the Redmi Note 7 here. This is pretty much your average uh, MIUI 10 Android 9, so it is pretty updated. Android 9 is new. This one has the four gigs of RAM, but you can get the three gigs, 32, no problem for 7990. I don't think the one gig of RAM is a big difference, but if you feel like you're playing a lot of games and a lot of apps are running in the background, Go ahead and get the four gigs if you can. And uh, MIUI has come a long way when it comes to, uh, you know, usability and niceness of uh, the, the user interface. It's actually very smooth and fast. Uh, it's one of the better ones out there. And if you're missing the app drawer, which it's not have, you can always just drag one of the folders onto the app tray on the bottom here and then load all the apps that you want into the, the folder. So you can have a pseudo app drawer on the bottom. So that's about it. I like the UI, it's very fast. There are ads uh, here and there, especially when you're installing apps, it does have app recommendations. Um, I think you can disable it, or at least you can disable most of it, but that's just really ruins the experience for me. Um, thankfully you can disable them. It's kind of a bother, it's kind of annoying. Um, it's just something you have to live with. Um, here's an example. You know, when I installed Antutu, there's this. Uh, don't rely on autocorrect. It's just annoying that Xiaomi has to do this with these phones. They have to put their ads on there just to make a little bit more money. Why don't... I, it's just annoying. But I know if you're on a budget, especially in the Philippines, that's perfectly fine. You'll just disable the ads and you'll be fine. Anyway, uh, that's that for the user interface. I think it's an excellent interface. It gets updated very regularly and it is Android 9 Pie, so it's a nice uh, upgrade on the 8,000 peso price point. All right, so here is the camera mode of the Redmi Note 7. As you can see, it does have the option short video, photo, video for portrait and night mode. I haven't tried that yet. We have a square for some reason. And then we have even a pro mode, so that's really nice. Now, the photos come out as a 12 megapixel ca uh, shots from the 48 megapixel sensor. So you don't get the 48 megapixel. Maybe in the pro mode, you can get that. We'll see that in the full review. Uh, but we do have a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The 48 megapixels turns into 12 megapixels because of pixel binning technology, uh, which divides each, uh, I mean, each pixel is divided by four. To make one good one pixel out of the four pixels and then our photos are pretty nice although it does lack a little bit of saturation this is indoor and then we have outdoor selfie we have outdoors 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 and it uh, the resolution and quality is actually quite nice i have to admit this is a pretty nice camera the bokeh is really nice as well however i do have to admit that the saturation is a little low for me but maybe that's because we haven't updated the firmware yet uh, this is another selfie and here are some whole uh indoor shots we'll find out more about the photo quality as the review comes along but that's a uh, sample some sample shots it doesn't do 4k or anything crazy like that so that's a bummer, but what can you expect from an 8,000 peso phone anyway? So that's the camera and uh, portrait mode I haven't tried. Let's try it right now. Lots of blurring. There we go. My hair is unkempt. All right, guys, we're going to play uh, some PUBG Mobile here. Just to be clear, we are running on HD graphics. Uh, frame rate is high. And then we have turned off audio adjust graphics here. Um, just to find out what it can do at the highest setting or at least the high setting here. Frame rate is pretty good even at the settings we picked. I have a helmet now. Close. Also, I'm not very good at PUBG Mobile. Or PUBG in general. Anybody here? Oh, there he is. Got him. I didn't even aim. Boom. Got two kills, boys. What up, boys? Show me some animus. Oh. Aha.
Got him. Got, these are bots, obviously, but whatever. I don't care. My team is not bots. Pia. Speakers are pretty good, but you do muffle them when uh, playing like this. As you can see. So, eh, I guess. Alright guys, so that's about it for our uh, testing of the performance of the Redmi Note uh, 7. And I think the performance is pretty nice. Um, you know, frame rate is nice, even though I did set it to not, you know, change frame rates or anything. I thought somebody was in here. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Um, but yeah, that's it for the performance test. And this unboxing is about to be over. Boy. All right, guys, so I think that might be about it for our quick unboxing and hands-on and even some gaming tests and Antutu and camera tests on the Redmi Note 7. I think, as I expected, it's one of the most anticipated phones in the market today with the 48 megapixel camera, with the build quality, with the full HD display, with the nice uh, design as well. For only 8,000 pesos, it's hard to go wrong Despite the fact that Xiaomi and Redmi still inundates us with ads on their um, apps, even though, you know, you can disable some of them, it's still annoying that they do that without permission. It's on by default. You do get ads by default. I don't... Uh, that just disrespectful to me. Uh, but, you know, for a lot of people with a budget, that they don't really care, you know? Uh, affordable is affordable. Ads are, you know, sometimes a very, very lesser evil compared to expensive smartphones uh, Redmi Note 7 is available on uh, March 27 tomorrow uh, for $7990 for the 3GB 32 and the 7990 for 4GB 64 and then $11490 for the 4GB 128 but of course if you're in a strict budget less to less 2000 gets you a really nice smartphone with possibly good cameras I think the cameras are great uh, maybe a little update will get the saturation up, but I think even now without the saturation, I think, you know, the quality is really nice for an 8,000 peso phone, the 4,000 mAh battery, the quick charge for USB Type-C charging, the build quality, the design, the 48 megapixel camera, the Gorilla Glass back, the Gorilla Glass front, and the, in, uh, the infrared blaster and the headphone jack really, really make this. As I said before, Quite, quite an unbeatable deal. So there you go, Alex from technoclass.com. Thanks for watching uh, this uh, review, or sorry, this unboxing of the Redmi Note 7. We're going to do a full review as, as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.